You look goofy. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <laughs> you look goofy. <laughs> Ew, I do look goofy. Ah, good day everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be recreating YouTuber Instagram accounts. Well, not their whole account, just one of their photos. <laughs> so, you guys really loved the last time that I did this, so I figured I would do it again since there's so many YouTubers, there's lots of photos to recreate. So, without further ado, let's get on with today's video. Okay, so I found this picture of Gabby that was pretty scandalous because she was just had her boobies out with her hair covering her nipple anyas. So, I figured, you know what? I need to find myself a wig to copy this picture because it's just everything. Okay, so for the Gabby photo, basically all we need is a wig and a shirtless body. So we need to cover up these nips with this wig. Three, two, one. <gasps> He's a she. Hello. Basically she does a pose where she has her hands above her head. Uh huh. She's just feeling herself. That's a skinny pose right there. <laughs> this is a skinny pose. Okay, so get the, the eyes are fierce. The mouth is mostly closed. Okay. You look like Jesus. <laughs> you look like a man. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so this photo was actually pretty easy to take. All I needed was that wig and just to be naked. <laughs> um, but you know what? It's definitely not as cute as Gabby. Here they are, side by side. Um, I feel like I got the general idea of what Gabby looked like and what she was going for in this photo. Just less less sexy and a little more hairy. Up next is my good old friend, Laura Lee. So I was actually going to do a different photo of her with her cat, but she recommended that I do the pineapple picture. And I was like, what the hell is the pineapple picture? And she's like, oh my God, it's the one where I had two pineapples against my nipples. So again, I'm <laughs> sticking with topless girls. I don't know why. Why am I recreating so many topless girl photos? I don't know, but I want to do it. So we got to go get some pineapples and we uh, are not going to get a wig. We're just going to get shirtless and um, kind of make a Joey version of this photo of Miss Laura Lee. So let's do it. So we have this like secret thing in the backyard that is like the staircase to heaven. Uh, so we're going to head up there. I see some palm trees up there that will probably work for the background for this photo. So let's head on up, shall we? Oh, who knew pineapples could be so damn heavy? Um, so <sighs> Laura said that a lot of people were commenting, does it hurt against your nipples? So I'm about to test it out. Okay, when you stroke it up and down, yes it does, but if you just press it against it, it feels nice and cool. So, cover up my titties. Look down, look smile. Look down that way. You look goofy. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <laughs> you look goofy. <laughs> Ew, I do look goofy. <sighs> this is hard. This is difficult, Laura. I don't know how you did this. Put the tongue out. Put the fat tongue out. No, not the skinny tongue. Fat. Fat. Okay. I don't know how to make my tongue fat. Oh, that was so frustrating getting the right lighting. It's so hard getting good light, guys. And also, the pineapples didn't really hurt against my nipples. I really thought they were gonna be spiky and I was going to pierce my nipples, but surprise, I didn't pierce them. So, uh, here's the photos side by side. I feel like... <sighs> Hers definitely looks a lot better, but mine's still cool. You know, I got pineapples covering me up and um, it looks festive enough and tropical. I tried, Laura, I tried. Okay, the next photo is Dan Howell, which is a real freaking cute photo of him. It's just like him holding these real cute sunflowers with a flower crown. And I thought, you know what? I can definitely pull this off. So let's try it out. All right, so basically all that's required is this yellow shirt, a flower crown, and some daisies, or no, sunflowers? Sunflowers. Sunflower daisies. Um, okay, so let's try and take this picture. It shouldn't be too hard. Wow, like a ray of sun. Give me am that I, fake smile. Am I doing it good? Chin down. Does the flower crown look the same? Oh, you're actually tilting the head the other way. <gasps> Chin down. Yes, master. Put this here. Yes, sir. Chin. Chin. Ow! Oh, sorry. Pulling my beard hairs off. All right, come on, come on. I ain't got all day. Girl, why are you 
just showing my whole body down there. It's called a crop. <laughs> I think we got the shot. We're good. Let's move on. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. It was literally just me holding the flowers in the right angle. Uh, so here they are side by side. I think that they are both super freaking cute. I live, I die, I'm born again, and that's that. I want to say a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So if you guys don't know what Skillshare is, it's basically an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, photography, video, and a whole bunch more. So premium membership allows you access to every single course that they have available on their website, uh, which can really help you just enhance your current skills and possibly learn some new skills while you're at it. So the class that I'm most excited about is the mobile photography basics for Instagram success just because I feel like there's still a lot that I can learn about taking photos on my phone uh, and I want to have a killer Instagram so I think I'm going to definitely take this class and see if there's some new skills that I can learn. So Skillshare is actually pretty affordable compared to most other learning platforms. It's only about like $10 a month for a year subscription, which is pretty damn good. So if you have a skill that a lot of people don't have, it can really help you um, just really stick out and stand out and be uh, a unique voice. So the first 500 people to sign up with my link down below will get a two month free trial on Skillshare. So go sign up. Uh, and hopefully you're one of the first 500 people. Okay, up next is Mr. Manny Mua. So I found this photo of him on Instagram that I just thought was so freaking funny and ridiculous. It's him in bed holding a like long ass pillow of him with what originally was Ryan Gosling, but was transformed into Shawn Mendes, as you can see. It's a clear cutout of his face. Um, I think Shawn is very cute, so I would probably do the exact same. Uh, nothing against Ryan, but I, I, I totally agree. Alrighty, so Manny was kind enough to let me borrow his pillow. Um, it was a Ryan Gosling pillow. It is, but... Um, Not just a regular pillow. It is a Ryan Gosling one, but... He put the Shawn Mendes photo on top of it with Photoshop, so that's what I'm going to be doing too. So now, Mr. Ryan, are you ready to cuddle with a big old booty that's gonna be Facetune to be bigger? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, is this the right pose? Yes, I think we have the shot right here. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, Perfect. you twerked too much, it went out of frame. It's weird, the pillow's very crunchy. Oh, it's dry. You could crack it in half. I could literally. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Ryan, what happened to you? Manny, what you been doing with this pillow? I've been getting his use out of it. <laughs> All right, let's take this photo. So I literally shot this photo the night before I was leaving for Japan, and I was so tired. Um, but you know what? I got the shot. My butt's not nearly as big as Manny's, but it works. Here they are, side by side. What do you guys think? Did I accomplish it? I think I did. Okay, last but not least is Miss Nikita Dragon. Now, this is the one that I am most worried about because it's gonna require some public um, embarrassment in a way. <laughs> Cause I have to go out in this snake skin dress and um, a pink wig that looks like this. So I have to go to a 7-Eleven, pour myself a Slurpee, and slurp it on up in front of everyone. So, uh, let's do it. Wow. Hi. Bitch. <laughs> Is that my fucking hair? No, of course not. Oh, am I bad? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna come over there and you right now. <laughs> we have the same hair right now. How funny. Well, you better pull that down a little bit. You better not cough yourself. Honey. <laughs> so I'm about to go into 7-Eleven right now looking like this. So do you have any tips? How do I recreate okay. that photo? Okay, okay, okay. Well, one tip is make sure you clean off of wherever you're leaning on because it's a little dirty in 7-Eleven. Okay. So make sure you clean it. I actually get the biggest Slurpee, you know, there's a difference. There's the large Slurpee and there's the super size Slurpee, and I got the super flat size Slurpee in red. Okay. Bye. Peace and bye. <sighs> okay, we have to go in. I'm literally 
shitting my pants right now. I have to go in public looking like that. Oh my god, there was men over there. Those are scary men. Okay, we'll wait till they go inside. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh god. I also, I don't have my shoes on right now. I have them right here because they don't fit me. I need to get the biggest gulp over here. Is this it? No. No, is this even bigger? Oh my god, mango. Okay, we'll go in for the strawberry basil lime. Oh, wow. Oh, that's sweet. It takes no time. Okay, so I'll put the cap on and fill it up some more. Now I need to put on my shoes. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not fitting in that tight little hole. <sighs> okay. You know what, that's the closest we're gonna get. Let's take this damn photo. We got the damn photo. Can we get the hell out of here? I'm sick of people staring at me. All right, so that wasn't actually as bad as I thought. Um, it was pretty uh, embarrassing just because people were kind of staring, but honestly, it's not the worst people I've ever seen in LA. I'm sure there's been crazier things to happen in that store. Here they are, side by side. What do you guys think? I'm probably a much cuter version of Nikita, but that's just my opinion. I don't know about you. You can let me know in the comments. Um, no, it's, it worked. Yeah, it was, it was rough. It was real rough, let's be honest. Um, so my feet are pretty giant compared to Nikita's little, nubs of feet and they wouldn't fit in the actual high heels. I had to just stick my legs through the holes uh, and let my feet just dangle out. <laughs> it was gross. The floors were dirty, they were sticky, it was nasty. But you know what, I pulled through and I got that photo done. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up and uh, let me know what YouTubers you wanna see me recreate next in the comments down below. And yeah, that's it for today. I love you. I will see you all tomorrow. Good damn.